Hi folks, I want to talk about what's going on here in Italy because something beautiful is happening. I just moved here in my new shop, which is a dream becoming reality. It's a huge shop, I'm talking about 300 square meters, and I have all the space I need for my project. But in this last month, I almost never been here in it in Turin for working in my, sh in my new shop, but I was working in Rome, which is about four hours, five hours by train from Turin and I'm working as a, as a oceanographer for movies and for music videos but every time I get here in Italy in Turin I start to work on on my shop first of all I decide to paint the walls with this beautiful gray because I I thought that gray works perfectly with light effect you can see the light for example here above my head you get a very nice shadow but I will also improve the light system here in my shop this is just the beginning of everything in this period I'm also visiting a lot of old factories because I'm searching for interesting components if you follow me on Instagram probably you also saw me just going around in these very uh, scary places and I found a lot of components for example you see in front of me this uh, huge thermometer this it was a water thermometer and I don't know if it works probably yes but it's also all cover of rust which gives this very vintage nice uh, look I also found in the old factory some lamps like this one this is a very old one the the factory I visited was almost 100 years old so I guess also this type of lamps so I love this style and the most um, interesting component is uh, it was a very heavy one and also very difficult to transport it because it was all full of oil and I'm talking about this one behind me is a pump I think it's a pneumatic pump or a valve I, I don't know but I, it was all full of oil so I guess it moves oil inside very big machinery and I want to convert this pneumatic valve into a main switch for the electric electric components here in my shop so I don't know if, if it is possible but I have a couple ideas in my mind so I think I can solve the problems so I'm I just get back from Puglia which is in the south of Italy and I was working with Red Bull yeah, I'm working very often with Red Bull here in Italy I am like a testimonial for them we, we have very nice projects in our mind so I think this one could be also be used maybe I can give it as a gift for the, the shop I don't know let's see what's in my mind and what I can build for this today's project a couple days ago I found next to a very old factory this huge pump i don't know if it's a pump or a valve i never dismount something like this before but i'm pretty curious to see what's inside i love the fact that it's all covered of rust and but you can also see the letters these are vintage letters and i think that this gives a look to this valve like a post industrial or post apocalyptic or a vintage look which is absolutely the look i want that my uh, valve and my shop looks like so i will install this valve inside my shop not as a pneumatic valve but instead as a main switch for all my lights so i think that this is an, this is an amazing idea i will remove also the base because i, I will clean it or maybe just make something else with the base and now I will remove the handle using a wrench this is a number 10 wrench I think that the uh, handle is in aluminium because it, that's the reason why it doesn't have rust on it I will put away the handle and now it's time for the more, most critical part I want to see if I can remove these bolts that are absolutely covered of rust are very hard to remove them but with a, with a bit of force and uh, with my drill I can remove them all so uh, now it's time to see what's inside I'm very curious to see how this valve or pneumatic pump works so you can see that, that we have made basically two components one that is like a gate we have two little windows two little doors that can open and close and this was mounted here and the other part instead was the one that was connected to the uh, rotating part and also here you can see that we have two little windows so I guess that this works like a, a pump so each time you move you rotate the pump you can 
create pressure and then move oil inside the, ma the machinery I don't know so let's start the project uh, first of all I want to remove the, this little this little door and modify the aluminum part I will install this that is a button be careful not use a switch but a button because I want that the button is activated only when it's pressed not all, always activated so with a metal file I will enlarge the hole so that I can install the button inside um, so the bottom goes inside here and later on I will connect to, to a relay so you will understand later what I'm talking about because it's quite difficult and also quite dangerous to handle current so high with such a small bottom. Now I made a little mistake, the bottom is too big, doesn't fit at all inside the valve so I will replace it this time with a smaller one. I'm talking about a momentary switch and fortunately I can still modify the other part because this aluminum component has two doors and now it's just a matter of installing this very very small switch. This is a momentary switch as I was telling you and I dismounted from my microwave oven and you can see that now it fits perfectly. Yes, I really love it and to make sure that we don't have a short circuit I will cut away one of the three pins that is on, on the other side I'm talking about the normally closed pin which I am not using in this project and I will cover this connection with some electrical tape so that we don't have short circuit so this is the result now it's time to glue it inside I will use some hot glue and two little wood blocks to make sure that it sticks perfectly inside yes because I will use this main switch almost daily so this little switch will get a lot of stress I don't want it to move away so I will put a very very big amount of hot glue and make sure it doesn't move so after a couple minutes I can then reinforce the other part with another little very, very small wood block and this is how it looks like I'm pretty sure it doesn't go anywhere so now it's just the time of making sure that now fits inside yes I'm pretty happy on how it looks like everything fits great and now is just the time of modifying the other part of the valve I'm talking about this this is a brass part and I will glue inside a little bit uh, a little wood block May be careful just see that this wood block is uh, is cut at the diagonal so each time it spins can push to the momentary switch I connect also copper cables to the switch and also a uh, for safety reason also a ground cable to the aluminum part so now that I'm connecting all the parts again together it's also a good idea to drop a small amount of oil inside of it connect also the, the top part on the on the valve and now close again everything with, with all six bolts that I put apart earlier also put the handle on top and you can see now that the valve connect the little switch so now I was telling you that to connect to use it properly using the, the little button I will also use a relay that's the reason why it's not safe to use it I think it's not safe to use it with direct current inside of it so it's a better idea to use like a smaller relay like a 12 volt relay and the connections are like this let's say let's say for example I want to turn on this lamp using a relay so the connection are like this we use the the main valve just to activate the relay and then it is the relay job to activate the light so let's see in real life how it works okay each time I turn the handle we push the little momentary switch which close the relay and the relay give electricity to the lamp oh so it's pretty easy is a very nice thing also because to a relay you can connect multiple lamps or multiple relay and so you can have multiple connection and so this is the valve itself i love the look it has here in italy we call it we call this type of style post industriale which means something like is an industrial but you can also use it in the house like a design piece so i will install this valve here on the wall this is not anymore a valve i'm i'm, I'm mistaking it is a main switch I will use it to control to turn on and off all the lights here in my shop so I suggest you to pass through this cable only 12 volts so that you can activate relay that are 
that use only 12 volts. So even if you have a, a short circuit, you don't get electrocuted because this is all metal. It wasn't meant to be like a, a switch. So use only 12 volts. This is a good suggestion or 24. You, you don't get electrocuted with only 24 volts. And then connect multiple relay to these cables and the relay will get all the stress, all the, the force to turn on and off all the lights and everything. So I think this is a great idea. So I will install it here on the wall and now I'm, I will work on this future project, this, this uh, table. Also this one has a post-industrial style and I think it ca is coming amazing, yes. So it will be a future video. So if you want to see also other projects that are like steampunk or post-industrial, uh, you find both links here. So check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.